Okay. I just gave you all those six trigonometric functions, right? Did you write those down? Good. So I could give you a triangle and I say, hey, why don't you evaluate the six trigonometric functions? Remember, the trigonometric functions are comparisons. That's all they are. Comparing how big is one side to another side. That's all they are. Well, to do that, we need to have all the sides though, right? So let's go ahead and figure out what is the third side. So I recognize this is my hypotenuse. This is a leg. But not, it's just not any leg, though. It's also, we could say, this is the adjacent side, right? Because it's adjacent between my angle and my 90 degrees. But I don't know this side, which is my, my OPP, right? my opposite. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so I could say my square root of 2 squared plus, ooh, I don't know what, a, b, b squared, x. Can we use x? Can we use y? Can we use anything? You guys want to use b? All right, fine, we'll use b. And then we'll do 3 square root of 2. OK? So square root of 2 squared is just 2. Now, again, you're squaring basically both these terms. So 3 squared is 9. Square root of 2 squared, we already know is 2. So 9 times 2 is? Right? And then just square root both sides, and then we get a nice lovely dovey um, 4. All right, so let's go ahead and um, now, now that we have our side lengths, let's go ahead and start to compare them. So we're going to say sine of alpha theta, right? It's very important because, guys, like what if like alpha is up there? The sine of alpha is different than the sine of theta, OK? So that's why it's very important that you know what angle you're referring to. These are not the same angles. This is the adjacent side to that angle, right? B. This is the opposite side to that angle. This is the adjacent side to that angle, OK? Do you remember the calculations that Huh? Do you have to do another calculation? Yes, but right now I'm only asking you for find the six trigonometric functions. I only gave you that angle. I was just kind of doing a little overteach. So sine here is opposite over adjacent. Done. But. For this lesson, because number one, the multiple choice problems you guys will be doing will be simplified. In addition, um, for later chapters, we will be needing to use, well, we, we will want to be using simplified answers. We are going to practice and expect that you will simplify every single ratio that you do, meaning radicals will be simplified and no radicals will be in the denominator. Okay? So that is just expect. I'm not going to tell you to do this. This is going to be an expectation. So that means we got to get this off of there. If you did your what you need to know already, then you just rationalize the denominator. Multiply by square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, it gives me 4 times square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. For the cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. Square root of 2 divide out, right? We can do that. Right? Everything separated by multiplication. What, what goes up top? Something? One. And then when they have a tangent, is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. Again, don't want that. So we'll rationalize the denominator. 4 square root of 2 over 2. Those can simplify to give you 2 square root of 2. Now. Now we've shown our work. And this is when you guys are doing your work today in your class, this is the work I'd like you guys to show. Get used to this. Because everybody's not as familiar with the ratios or with rationalizing the denominator yet. So I want you guys to show each other work so we can practice that. Um, the next thing is cosecant. If you looked at those rules, the cosecant is just the reciprocal of sine. It's just the flip version. Well, I don't want to flip the final answer because then I'll have a radical in the denominator. But if I, could I flip the original ratio? Sure. And then look how easy this is. 3 square root of 2 over 4. Done. Nothing to simplify. It's the hypotenuse over the opposite sign. Hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is just the reciprocal of cosine. Well, in this case, I am going to have to flip it. But again, now my square root of 2's are going to divide up. And then last but not least, my cot, otherwise known as cotangent, 
is just the reciprocal of tangent. So therefore, that's going to be square root of 2 over 4. No. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Yep. But yes, they are. We'll be talking more about that later. Does anybody have a question on that? All right. Um, 